Okay, in this problem, we're going to take a look at the z-score. There's two ways you could use the z-score formula, okay? Now, this example is going to give us a measure of relative standing. The formula looks like this. I'm sure you guys have probably written in your book. We take our raw score that we're interested in comparing. We're going to subtract the mean and divide that by the standard deviation, okay? And so that's basically what we're going to do once we have this calculation for each of the scores we want to compare. We have a level playing field, okay? And we can compare them number for number once we have them in the form with the Z score. Let's take a look at this example, okay? Example. Which of the following two test scores has a better relative position? Okay, A, a score of 60 on test A, for which the mean score is 50, and standard deviation is 5. So whatever test, whatever class this is, your score is 60, and the average for the class is 50, standard deviation is 5. That's the spread, all right, spread out data. B, a score of 250 for test B. Okay, the mean there is 200, and standard deviation is 20. Okay, so if I want to write out my variables, I need my x, I'm going to need a mean, and I'm going to need a standard deviation. So here I'm going to subscript it, of, of, actually I'll subscript it with an a since it's test a. So x sub a is 60, the mean there is 50, and standard deve is 5, okay? Now, let's go ahead and get our z-score for A. So the z-score for test A. So we're going to take our score, the raw score, 60. We're going to subtract the mean of 50, and then divide by 5, standard deviation. Okay? While you do that calculation, I'm going to get this the, the test B information. Okay? So for test B, we should have a score for B should have a mean and a standard eve. Okay, so we bought 250 was our score. The mean for the class was 200 and standard deviation or the spread is 20. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug this one in and then we can see what we've got. So for Z, the Z score, the relative score, okay, or standard score, there's three different names for that, okay? So our score is 250, subtract the mean, divide by the standard deviation. There you have it. Now let's see what we get. Okay, so you should have for test A, a score of 2. That's our relative score. And for test B, you would have a relative score of 2.5. So test B is the higher relative score. In other words, you did better on test B, okay, then test A, okay, so the test B score is relatively higher than test A. So when anytime you need to compare either your score to another data set or you need to compare, say, two different tests that are scaled differently, maybe one's graded on a 10 point scale, maybe one's graded on an 8 point scale then you would use the standard score, the z-score, to even up the playing field so that you can compare them accurately.